Dobra. Jeszcze raz spróbuję blisko tak Widziałeś to? Fuuu No nie wiem Jest, jest pewne. Bardzo gorące. Tak, jest bardzo gorące. As we saw, it was swimming and I really enjoyed that because it was amazing. <laughs> Uh, feel uh, how uh, how things are working if you are uh, hardly work on that for f about three three or four weeks. So now let's talk uh, what happened uh, later and uh, why it happened. So as you can see, uh, first of all the uh, cardan chain. Uh, there is some screw which uh, wasn't uh, screwed tight enough to hold uh, uh, the motor shaft but uh, probably uh, I screwed it well but uh, the motor shaft is very hard so uh, it uh, couldn't uh, catch uh, it property, properly uh, and a fix for that? Well, I would try to uh, make a flat uh, area on the shaft to let uh, the screw screw to this and it may hold. Or just uh, glue uh, the screw and it should work too. Okay, so uh, next thing is, <laughs> I, as you can see, there were three screws mounting, uh, but there are only two. Uh, so uh, the motor got uh, hot, too hot for this pet G. And uh, I was able to touch it, but it wasn't uh, comfortable. So I think 
the motor reach 80 degrees, maybe 100 degrees, which is too high, but anyway, this motor survived it and uh, I'm not sure I will be able to show you that, but uh, the coils on the motor are uh, in good condition. I mean, uh, they are not burnt, so generally that's okay. I mean, uh, anyway, uh, I would prefer to use a 3S uh, battery and uh, the motor uh, should have a good temperature and uh, it would be fine. Uh, with a 4S uh, battery, as you saw, uh, the boat uh, first, uh, when it was uh, slow, uh, the tip of the boat was uh, going underwater, so uh, a, a quick uh, pinch uh, of the throttle was required to make it a little bit uh, to be above the water. And when I put the throttle uh, for above uh, around half, uh, the boat was <laughs> Uh, I don't know how to say it, it was like frog, uh, yeah, so uh, there are few things which were not done very good. First of all is, uh, yeah, the, if you saw those marlins, uh, overall weight on the water, uh, it should be balanced. It wasn't balanced because there is a ESC and the ESC is pretty heavy, so the boat was like on the left side more. And, and that's why I've glued three Marvins uh, on the opposite side. And uh, when I was testing it uh, in the sink, it was something around uh, balanced. And uh, yeah. Okay, and uh, why uh, the boat was jumping? Uh, boat was jumping because uh, it has uh, too much power. I'm very satisfied with uh, this, uh, how uh, this boat uh, uh, was uh, swimming and uh, it gave me a lot of fun. Uh, even the building this boat gave me a lot of fun. <laughs> and yeah, and so uh, I and uh, this uh, screw inside the nozzle didn't uh, matter for me. And about waterproof, uh, I didn't screw uh, those screws very tight, so that might be the reason why uh, a little bit of water came inside. But anyway, uh, I placed the receiver and the ESC just a little bit above uh, the water level, if there was. So I think it's a good toy. And the motor holder, motor mount, uh, with 3S, it, I think it shouldn't happen. And uh, yeah. Uh, or alternatively, and yeah, we have to think about that. Those motors are for quadcopters and they are not designed for that uh, big resistance where they are pumping the water. So, as we saw on the first uh, swim, uh, 2205 motor just burned because it has uh, it needed a lot of power, it got a lot of power because big ESC and it got burned. This one did it got burned and it's in good condition. So, uh, but it uh, got very hot on 4S. So, uh, yeah, but I was thinking about uh, getting bigger motor, but no way, it won't fit. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so that's it, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, so plans for the future on this channel, uh, I'm planning uh, one or two week uh, small break, so one or two weeks will be without videos, and uh, I will start uh, maybe with 
few videos about about 3D printers or quadcopters. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure. And uh, I will start with uh, similar project, but uh, something really big to utilize this uh, motor. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button. Bye.